Hi again, and welcome into the 2022 Heart of America Athletic Conference Women's Soccer Media Day. I'm Nick Vassos, voice of the Kansas City Comets of the Major Arena Soccer League, as well as television anchor for Fox 4 News here in Kansas City. We are delighted uh, to be joined by uh, the head coach of the Mid-American Nazarene women's team, Mr. Bryce McClanahan, and midfielder Emily Carrasco. Welcome into both of you guys. How are you? Yeah, doing well. Thank you, Nick. I'm doing good. Thank you. Good. Yeah, it's great to both uh, have both of you here. And Coach, uh, I'll first start with you. You guys qualified for the Hart Tournament uh, last year. Uh, in your first year at uh, Mid America, you were you had 14 wins and qualified for the Hart last year. So you've had some early success in your coaching career. Uh, what do you think it's going to take this year uh, to uh, advance up the ladder? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so yeah, had three years under my belt now going into year four. Um, but yeah, when I took over the program, we had um, yeah, a good, good group of ladies. Um, and then yeah, right now we're definitely in the rebuilding phase and M, uh, she's a key. Um, yeah, uh, she's the engine and the team. Uh, she's fantastic. Uh, last year as a freshman. Uh, yeah, she started and played uh, every minute that she was available to play. Um, so yeah, for us are extremely excited. I think we have close to 20, um, you know, new incoming players. So um, yeah, we were busy recruiting. Um, and now it's uh, awesome to have everybody back on campus, you know, and the swing of things for preseason. So um, yeah, we're just going to take it one day at a time, control what we can control. Um, but it's fun, um, you know, what we're building so far. All right, let's let's talk to Emily a little bit. Uh, first off, Emily, what's your major? Um, I'm undecided right now, so I don't really know yet, but hopefully soon I'll, I'll be deciding. You, you'll decide. You've got time. Uh, have you thought about your plans maybe beyond soccer life, or is there still maybe a, a goal of playing at the next level? What, what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, I would like to continue, hopefully, um, if everything goes good, injury-free and all this stuff. Um, but yeah, continue playing and start my career as well. So, so you're uh, you're a Kansas City, Kansas native, but I am too. So that means we're both from the dot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's what's it like playing in a school that's not too far from home? It's good. I get to uh, see my family and I get to um, be around the community a lot. So it's really nice and it's good to be you know, from the dot and be over here playing and stuff. Not everybody makes it out. So it's, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Her parents uh, are extremely supportive. Yeah. They're at everything, yeah. um, which is really cool. So, I mean, what, how long the drive is it? Oh, it's a 30 minute drive. <laughs> long so, commute. Uh, yeah. yeah. Worth it. Yeah. It's yeah. all worth it. Coach, what, why, why is Emily important to your team? Yeah, no, she's incredible. Um, I think in regards to uh, one, just how uh, mature she is, right? Even last year as a freshman, um, I would say, you know, the thing I love most about M is just her consistency. Like every single day shows up, uh, has a fantastic work ethic, uh, always has a positive attitude. And I would say leads by example, right? So I think in regards to character, she's fantastic. And then in regards to soccer, right? She's a baller. Um, yeah, really, really good. Um, in regards to soccer IQ, right, I would say, you know, she sees the game kind of next level. Uh, she's a, a six for us. So, um, yeah, she's the engine of the team. And I, I would say provides the calm uh, on the right moments and really gets us going uh, other times, too. So uh, all around, yeah, phenomenal person. You guys are making some investments into your program as well. You guys have a renovated stadium. You have a lot of facility upgrades coming to MNU. Uh, in the next couple of years that was just recently announced. Yeah. Coach, I got to think that you're like really excited about these, about all these upgrades, right? <laughs> oh yeah, no, over the moon. Um, so yeah, I'm an m &U alum. I played here in 15 and 16. So yeah, I've been around the place uh, and this is home. So, you know, now seeing new, um, you know, buildings on campus, we just got a new $20 million uh, student center, the Cunningham Center. It's incredible, right? Uh, the previous building had been here for quite some time. Um, so, yeah, I think it provides space for, you know, ladies that are on campus or even, you know, like M commuting to just have space to hang out. I know she's in the coffee shop there. Yeah. Uh, a lot of our ladies are there, um, which is nice. And then, yeah, plans to bring football back on campus, uh, which would give us kind of an alternate place uh, to play in case we have rain right now. 
we're fortunate enough to have beautiful Bermuda grass uh, practice and game field. So no plans to touch that uh, for the time being, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, Emily, what does it mean to you to, to have, uh, you know, upgrades to facilities just, I mean, as a player uh, playing on nice fields and I mean, all of that, what does, it, what does it mean to you? Oh, it's amazing. It's a, it's a good feeling when stuff is, is nice and, you know, like the ball just rolls perfectly. It's, mm. it's a really good feeling. Mm. So uh, coach, tell us about your returners this year. How, how, who do you got coming back this year? Yeah, definitely. So I know we talked a little bit about M. M. She was an all conference player last year, has a lot of experience under her belt. Um, uh, with her, we have a lady by the name of Alyssa Ward, who will be in her junior year. Um, she was an all conference player last year, scored some goals for us, very dynamic um, up top. And then, yeah, we also have a center back, uh, Grayson Clough, uh, who came to us as a center mid and then yeah, moved her to center back and she's doing great things, super fit. Um, yeah, again, good head on her shoulders as well. So I would say those are um, some of the key uh, returners um, to build on for this year. Emily, uh, whenever we conduct these, these types of interviews and we talk to coaches and players, inevitably the conference comes up. What is it like playing in the heart of America, one of America's toughest conferences? It's great. It's a, it's a good feeling to, to play in a tough conference, and it's, it's nice. Coach, uh, we have one final question here as we wrap it up. Well, you know what? Before we, before we ask you that question here, let's, let's look ahead here to um, your non-conference games before you, before you start the regular season. Give us an idea about your approach. How will you use those non-conference games? How do you schedule those games? And how will it help you set up for the regular season? Yeah, definitely. So in years past, we've generally played about six non-conference games. Um, this year, uh, I intentionally only just scheduled four, right? I think uh, in the fall season, right? Typically, we're playing two games a week. And right, games is basically play, uh, recover, and go again. Um, so I wanted to give us some more time, right? As we have a lot of new faces uh, this year to more importantly, just kind of go play one game uh, a week, uh, rest, recover, you know, lots of time to watch film, have proper training session to go and teach and then play again. So uh, our first game is at home versus Ottawa. Um, so a close by school. Um, yeah, very excited um, for these ladies to get to play at home. Um, and then we go away, home and away, um, then going into a tough uh, conference game. Uh, we're on the road versus Central Methodist. So, uh, yeah, for us, we're, we're you know, revving up uh, to make sure we have a strong uh, showing in conference, too. All right. Here is the question that we have been asking every head coach. And yeah. so, uh, coach, here is your question. But this is just the first thing that comes to mind, the first thing that comes to your mind. It can be a sentence, it can be one word, whatever. Uh, but when you hear Heart of America Athletic Conference Soccer, what comes to mind? Hmm. Yeah, I would say uh, high caliber um, class um, and striving for excellence, right? I think, you know, having been familiar with the, the conference as a player, uh, men's soccer, I think I think they typically have about five, six teams rated in the top 25. Women's soccer, you know, we have three teams in the top 25. Um, you know, for us, you know, I think why we show up is to go and be the best version of ourselves. So I think uh, the heart is a great conference, um, very strong, right? I think my first three years here, we finished second, fourth, and now seventh. So yeah, we're looking to go and win conference. Um, and if you do that, man, uh, it's quite the accomplishment. So um, yeah, excited to play in the heart for sure. Yeah. And it opens up so many opportunities too, doesn't it? In terms of you know, playing for the national title. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, correct. I mean, uh, Central Methodist, I want to say they're in the top five, um, right? They've been good kind of year in and year out. So on week one of conference, we get to go in and see, you know, what it's all about. Um, but ultimately, you know, for us, we have aspirations to go and play in the national tournament. Uh, so we've got, you know, multiple teams in the conference that have been there and done that. So. Well, I want, uh, I want to say it's been a great conversation chatting with you. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Bryce McClanahan and I do have a connection. We both went to Shawnee Mission East. So, hello, fellow Lancer. Let's yes, go, Lancer, right? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't forget my fellow Dot. Yes. Of course, em, or Emily. Hey, hey. Uh, go Dot. Go Dot. I love that. <laughs> All right. Guys, we wish you uh, the very best of luck. And uh, we'll be watching uh, this season. So, thank you guys for your time. And 
Uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you. We appreciate it. Thank yep. you. Good luck. Thank you.